Okay, so we're here we have Aria. She's been outside playing in her gate trainer, working on some walking. And I have attached this button to the front of her gate trainer. You can see her. It's kind of funny. She's trying to get a look at the button. See what on earth? And she says, oh, I know what this button is. You got it. Oh, what button was that? And there we go. She's figured it out. This is a button that has a fan on it. And the fan can be used to, you know, cool her. We have a couple of different fan buttons that we use when we're outside. Um, take one to the pool. So she okay, so right now I have Aria in the part of her sensory room that is usually used in the dark because she's got all of her cool fiber optic stuff in here and black lights. Um, but I, we've got her in the light for this. And she is very excited. We're playing with her Busy Gears toys. Um, this is something that you can like get at Walmart. We've just adapted it. So it can be used with a switch since her limbs are a little different than your average kids. So this, this red switch right here is uh, what will make that go. And so right now it's stopped and we'll see. We'll see if she chooses to play with that. It's up to her. There we go. I'd like to see that was a very purposeful arm movement. And now she's enjoying her Busy Gears toy. Hi, cutie. Oh. Good job, Aria. Okay. So what we have right now is Aria in her sit-me-up. We've hung some of her favorite toys from this bar. And because she can see kind of what's going on, she's able to play with her measuring spoons and her cup and her beads and whatever she wants. There we go. They bonked. You got him again. This has really helped Aria to be less defensive with her arms. She, she used to be much more likely to um, explore the world with her feet and having a little bit of vision has really helped her to be willing to reach out and uh, touch objects. So this is another thing that Aria has loved to do since getting some better vision is spin and the difference between what she did before and what she did now does now is that she um she's looking up and, and I think watching the world spin and she thinks it's hilarious. Look at that smile. So let's see if she gets herself doing a good spin. I love that laugh. And I am not kidding, we did not see this type of joy in our child before she had this just small amount of vision. It has completely changed her world. Okay, so we have the amazing Miss Aria in her sensory room. What I have done is I have hooked up this really cool reward toy that also has a fan and all these lights. And I hooked it up to this little toggle switch. And if she hits that toggle switch, 
she can turn on that light. And so right now we got the light going. Miss Aria is just kind of staring at it. It's one of her favorite toys. Oh, it stopped. What's she going to do? She's going to activate that tumble again. I think she's kind of brilliant. Okay. Our last test is trying to get the attention of Aria, who is just totally hanging out. She was playing with her pom-pom, but she's done with it. See if we can't get her to follow an object for you. Ready? Oh. Now we're in regular light, so this shouldn't be that big for her. You see that? There it is. What about up here? Yeah. What about down here? because you can almost see that her brain maybe processes information a little slower than other kids just by how long it takes her to turn. But you know what? She's getting it. Look at you. Just look up with your eyes. Yeah. Oh, jeez. that. You're awesome. You're awesome. All right. You look ready for a nap. She say bye-bye. Oh, yeah. Say bye-bye and thank you. This is funny. <laughs> you love the busy gears. You're so proud of yourself. <laughs> oh, don't kick me. She's just so awesome, and I'm so happy she's seeing this. <laughs> and she's happy she's seeing it, too.